Keeping an eye on some severe weather concerns over the next two to three days. And in fact, an enhanced risk of severe weather has been issued by the Storm Prediction Center today. Uh, we could see some very widespread heavy rainfall that could lead to some flooding. And then uh, warmer temperatures take us into July. Today, though, from the upper Mississippi Valley to the Great Lakes, we're 5 to near 10 or 15 degrees below average. A lot of that will be associated with the cloud and rainfall that we have uh, pushing through the region. And again, some severe weather concerns. Now, as we take you into the upcoming Friday and Saturday time period. Another little pool of cooler air will be in place, but by Monday it starts to uh, kind of diminish or at least modify a little bit. We'll still be a little cooler across much of the region, but after that, you can see that temperatures really it will be starting to warm up. It'll take us into the early part of July. There's your enhanced threat today from near Madison uh, to Omaha, Nebraska. Minneapolis under marginal threat there as well, but again, it does appear that the severe threat will continue in some of the same areas on Thursday. In fact, Thursday we have another enhanced threat over Omaha uh -huh. And then by Friday into the Great Lakes region with that slight risk of severe weather. So there's your shower and thunderstorm activity into the afternoon and evening hours. But then another line of thunderstorms developing with some large hail and damaging winds, a primary threat. Thursday again, we'll have ongoing showers and storms in the morning with more redeveloping in the afternoon. And then another threat on Friday. So widespread one to maybe two plus inch rainfall tallies across uh, mainly Iowa. And that could lead to some flood concerns. Temperatures, though, to the north still cooler than average.